I see? <gasps> Check this out right here. Now this is not a roadside attraction, I don't know what is. This is called the White Dot Dairy Bar. Soft serve ice cream, sandwiches, french fries, burgers, shakes, ahead on the right. It is a beautiful Sunday night, approximately about 646, and it looks like the White Dot is a poppin'. There's VKJ, VKJ D right here, and of course, Ellie the Bee. We have a place that's very close to where we live. It's called the White Dot, and it's right down here in the corner of 206 and 38, I think is the, in New Jersey. It's been here for a while. We're gonna give you a little bit of history, show you what it's all about, and maybe get a little tasty treat. We want you to join us today in this adventure. Let's go! We are pulling up into the White Dot. Old school uh, Jersey. Kind of Jersey. Place. Yeah. Okay. There. Looks like everybody's out on the big plane. That's right, of course. I got this time is forever. See you And the crowd goes crazy. My friend, uh, how often do you play here? If it's nice out, I'll be playing just about all the time. All the time? Yes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Is there a certain times that you're here? or uh, Not really. Just whenever you feel like playing? Whenever I feel like playing. Like, this, is, this is what I do instead of play golf. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. You never know when there's going to be live music here. But it uh, seems like it's going to be pretty often. We better get in line now because it is getting... It's going to be hours. It's going to be hours before we get up to the white dot here. This is our first white dot experience. Right up there it says white dot drinks, ice cream, hot dog shakes. Oh, it's very reminiscent of a time gone by. But it's still very alive here in New Jersey. Yep, and I got the other side over here too. Pretty cool. Uh-oh, check it out. They got a new Sunday alert. Come on now. Black Raspberry Fudge Crunch. Dirt worms are back. Churros. This lady's got some ice cream right there. It looks pretty delicious. So as we're waiting here in line, I figured it's a good time to uh, just let you know again that it's our first, this is our first white dot experience. Uh, even though we live very close, we drive by this all the time. We always want to do a video here. And now we finally got a chance uh, to come here and experience in person. The White Dot here has been serving delicious treats and delicacies to people here in South Jersey since 1952. Dad, what else was going on in 1952? Do you know? I wasn't born yet. He wasn't so born yet, but... I wasn't going on, I'll tell you that one. Not yet? Not the next year. Okay, 1953. That's right, that's when the party started. That you could have brought me here, but they didn't, so... Well... They were in Pennsylvania, so it's not necessarily their fault. <laughs> I don't know. They, this is this is a South Jersey I was, situation. I was deprived of yes. a child. Didn't go to the White Dot. <laughs> I'm here at the White Dot, and I happen to run into one of my neighbors. I'm not going to tell you where we live, because that's weird. But I'm going to ask her. She has been coming to the White Dot for how many years, do you think? I think maybe since I was like 10 or 11. 10 or 11 years old. Yeah, okay, so wow. Maybe like 15, 20 years almost. Oh, what do you get here when you come to the White Dot? the typical um, vanilla orange twist and sometimes uh, I'll add some rainbow jimmies to it so when she's feeling crazy she yeah. throws in the rainbow yeah <laughs> um, what's that ice cream bar with the orange like the, the cream sickle yeah yep exactly yep. yeah is that kind of what it tastes like exactly yeah orange cream sickle yo that sounds delicious <laughs> like an ice cream spot yes oh yeah for yeah. sure okay you ever been to the CB store on the other side of the white dot <laughs> I have not actually all right <laughs> uh, do you know what a CB is I do not actually. I know nobody does. It's like a radio they have it inside like truckers, like 
they talk to one another. Oh, that's pretty cool. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's before you could send pictures on your phone, probably. Thank you so much for your white dot experience. Of course, no Appreciate problem. It. Thank you. You got it, of course. <laughs> Hold on. Can I say white dot? Look at the t-shirt. It's amazing. I'm pink is the new blue. You're going to look fabulous. Yes. We just wanted to get one, I guess. Okay, and that was the $10 t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Go Team White Dot. Wow. White Dot t-shirts. Is it is actually that famous? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it but is. But to some, it is. And that's what's important. Okay? The 52 on the t-shirt is because it was started in 1952. You could take that one to the bank or the White Dot. Crowd is amassing behind me all the people here at the white dot look at that line look at that line the demand is high it's got to be good right because i mean you know, people are coming here like crazy all right the time. oh my gosh yes so we're next we're next let's go let's go hello how are you, good, how are you? this is our first white dot experience okay. we're very excited <laughs> how long have you worked here at the white dot um this will be my third year whoa she's a pro okay so you guys got the ice cream going on is that what you recommend? Is that like your number one item? Yeah, I'd say so. Should we get a big Sunday thing? What do you think? Okay, right there, right there. So, um, you have like a small Sunday. Do you, do you don't happen to have wet walnuts? We do have wet walnuts. Do you? So I'll just take like a hot fudge Sunday. Hot fudge Sunday. With uh, the walnuts, the wet walnuts. Yeah, and did you want a regular size like our kids? Uh, it's kid size is actually good for me, I think. Absolutely. This is the, we're having the dessert for the appetizer. We're totally messing up this evening, but. Do you actually serve food here? We stuff? do, yes. What kind of popcorns do I get, Bobby? Yeah, we have popcorns, burgers, cheesesteaks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you want to see one of our menus? Um, is, is there one that we could take with us? Yeah. That'd be great. So they have cheesesteaks and all kinds of stuff. And did you want to do vanilla ice cream with your son? Yeah, just vanilla. Whipped cream and cherry, okay? Um, sure. So they have a full menu here too. Specialty burgers, hot dogs, cheese steaks, the works. You can come here. Do you have breakfast too? <laughs> well, we only do our breakfast sandwiches. So we have like a pork roll, egg and cheese, or a bacon, egg and cheese. So basically, you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner here at the White Dot. Incredible. And dessert, of course. So $14.99. And what is the most popular thing they think you sell here? What do you think? Yeah, that's what the that's what the get. yeah that's what the, our next neighbor is going to get, the vanilla and orange ice cream, unbelievable. I'll be right back. Excellent, thank you. Boy, it's not like the old prices they used to get. Let's take, take a look inside here. Hang on a second. Oh, it's where the magic happens back here. It's where the magic. She got the whipped cream. She's putting the chocolate on it right now. Oh yes, <laughs> it's the official. Look at this guy. Dang, that thing's huge. Unbelievable. I'm very old. Yes. But uh, um, that seems to, uh, to almost $15 for, yeah. for two kids' Sundays. I know. Ouch. That's very cheap. Very cheap. Unfortunately, that's kind of a running theme you're going to see in these videos is my dad always thinks it should be cheaper, <laughs> but it's not. So, you know, it's okay. It's, it's 2024. It's hard to catch up, but we're working it out. These things are huge. Ellie's chipping in. Right, Ellie? You going to chip in? Okay, good. Very good. Let me see this action. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely delicious. That one, that one's yours, right? Yeah, it's got, it's got the. It's got the. Don't touch it. No, I'm not you. I'm talking about me. I can't touch it. You can touch it. Oh. All right. She's pumping it on there. No, I don't think so. I think she was just showing this. Uh-oh. She's running low. She's running low on the hot fudge. It could be a hot fudge emergency. Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. I mean, sandwiches, classic BLTs. All right, look, I'll look at that in one second. Forget all that. Whoa. Check that out. That's wonderful. You're gonna have to. Oh, All right, Dan, I'm gonna. I got it. I got it. Oh, of course, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Appreciate it. You too. So we have our ice cream. 
here at the White Dot. And we're gonna head over to the musical extravaganza back here at the, they have places to sit over here. They have uh, porta potties, they got tables, picnic tables. See? Please bring me my wine. And he said, We haven't had that spirit here since 1969. And then those voices are calling from far away. They get up in the middle of the night just to hear them say, Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. All right, let's, let's give this a try here. I know. Now, I used to get these. Yep. Of course, at. Um, What's the what's the what's the ice cream place that everybody goes to for a million years? Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Okay. That was my favorite. Okay. I had the hot fudge sundae with the uh, hot fudge on it and a wet walnut. Yep. But here at the White Dot, you can never leave. <laughs> this is a pretty hefty serving right here. Of course, you got the cherry on top. I'll get Ellie up here. She can't have any though. Get on. Oh, she does love whipped cream. Yeah. yeah. Don't make yourself sick now. Oh, no, don't be sick. Oh my goodness, Ellie B. Well, I don't know. I think the white dot was a successful experience. What do you think? I think it's a delicious experience. I'd, I'd come back as often as we can. I mean, come on, let's do it. Yeah, it's really nice, too, to support local businesses that have been here for a long time, too. So it's been here, for, it's been a steeple in this area for a long time. Support a local business. If you're going to, you know, get some sweets or some food, it is better to support the local. You know, the, the big chains don't need you, you know, going to Dairy Queen or... Rita's Water Ice, get out of here. White Dot, we're coming for you. All right, so we're gonna walk around the White Dot here real quick after our fantastic, delicious experience. There's a couple different treats on this side of the place as well. Oh yeah. So it looks like they have an inside section as well. And you can check them out at thewhitedot.com. Thewhitedot.com, I like that. Now the really interesting part is the white dot's awesome in itself, but this right here is some really interesting situation. So on the end of the white dot, they have a CB radio store. Have you ever heard of CB radio? Got a store right here. Yeah. So if you're a trucker, you want to get something to eat and your CB supply store right here. We got to go inside. Maybe we should go inside. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's go going in. I didn't even know they had inside area to be honest with you. I know they have an inside area. This is great. Hey, how you doing? Good. There it is. CB radio store. That's what it looks like. I can't. This is the only one you're ever going to see. It's the only one still in existence. I think I'm pretty sure. Like where is the CB? They're over there, right there. Okay. Yeah. Up on top of that shelf right there. And there's the antennas, I, I believe. But they have a little hodgepodge of, of technical equipment here to fit whatever you whatever you have, they have. Well, interesting tidbit here at the White Dot is they literally had a CB situation on the end. Unbelievable. It's one of the menus. What, what year do you think this is from? That's the question here. Holy cow, look, fried chicken and french fries, $1.60, come on. That's what my dad still thinks it's supposed to be. It's killing me. That right there says steak on a roll, 55 cents. Unbelievable. Wow. How long have you been coming to the White Dot? Like, say, like three, four Two years. or three years? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite thing here? Um, the ice cream. Ice cream. What's your favorite flavor ice cream? Vanilla. Is that a chocolate shake? Does he have a shake? No, she's got water right now. Oh, uh, okay. She's going to sure. have ice cream after her. Oh, I see. So she you guys had dinner first. Yeah. Yeah. Very responsible adults. Unlike us, we came here and had dessert first. That's we are. That's what we normally do. <laughs> I caught you red-handed. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much for your interview. You're going to be a star. <laughs> thank Goodbye. You. Thank
what an awesome little place. You know, it's these little things. It's the little things. It's the little things. It's the little places that matter. You know what I'm saying? They make the biggest difference. It's so nice that these places still exist. I, and they probably won't for too much longer, really. But, uh, yeah, you know, you, these little roadside uh, restaurants and stuff around New Jersey are really classic. Um, people do appreciate them, that's for sure. Absolutely. You know, really do. Absolutely. Especially in this area because, believe it or not, all these ridiculous warehouses are moving in like every two seconds. And I can only imagine about two, two minutes from now they're going to tear this down and put up another warehouse. Yeah. My head's going to explode. How long will this be here before uh, one of the chains, you know, buy the corner? put a gas station in or something it'll be gone right know, so right so 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 wherever you are in the world if you're in New Jersey or wherever you are make sure to take some time and go out and support your local business no matter what it is it could be a food place it could be a clothing store it could be you know just for, for one second to step away from the Amazon put the Amazon down come out here <laughs> come out with your family yeah, yeah sit and have some ice cream together that's right absolutely go old it's, school it's those memories that you build for your family so it's definitely worth it as the sun sets here in new jersey the line just keeps on getting bigger here at the white dot the hunger the taste the action and the excitement grows with every second that the sun is setting but more, it's something for families to do together something for families to do together so from our family the vkj family to your family out there go out get some food enjoy a beautiful evening and a sunset and you never know, you might just find that you still love each other. I mean, you love each other. Anyhow, thank you for watching this episode of Vacation Education. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Until next time, we are out of here. Out of here. Let's go. Actually, the sun is literally right in the in the back of the thing, so it's shadowing the camera on my face. <laughs> well, at least you're getting the shots of all the people. On. Absolutely.